What's up YouTube? Back here with another video. Let's go ahead and get into these Air Force Ones that were inspired by Off-White and um, the Chicago One colorway. And also, I threw my own little twist on there. I got inspired by my cat that has um, a red collar. And, you know, so I kind of got like the Tiger Stripes or AKA Tabby Stripes on the shoe. I thought it came out pretty dope. Yeah, so let me show you guys how I put these together. Picking your base shoe is very important because it basically determines what your shoes can end up becoming. Okay, first things first, I took off the inner swoosh. Now I'm gonna show you guys how I took the outer swoosh off. Please be careful not to puncture or scrape the leather. Once I'm at the very end of the check, I just slice around the back of the heel tab so it can make a nice clean edge. After a couple of slices and a tug, now it's time to pull out the excess thread. Now it's time to tape. I usually don't tape shoes, but since this is an all white shoe, I figure it's time for me to be careful. Do as I say, not as I do. Please acetone before you put on tape because the acetone could actually weaken the tape and let paint get in places that you don't want paint to be. Okay, on to my red paint. I mix fire red angelus paint, chili red angelus paint, and infrared angelus paint. Um, trying to get like a mix that was closer to the bottoms of my shoes. five coats of my red mixture. I'm about to lay down my stripes, which is varsity red. Um, I just free balled this. I probably should have looked at some more reference pictures, but I thought it came out pretty dope. I ended up adding about like four to five coats, in some cases six coats on the stripes. All right, this is me with my vinyl cutter mat. I put some leather on there. Surprisingly, it cut through the leather and uh, this is me peeling my Nike check off. Okay, done with the mat. Time to put some cardboard down. And clean up my Nike check. All right, it's time to paint the check. I use Angelus Leather Black Dye, and also I use Angelus Flat Black. I did about three to four coats of the Flat Black. All right, I'm not a leather worker. Um, I don't really know how to sew like that. But what I did for this part was 
I put holes that was going to be in the zigzag pattern that I needed for the check. I threaded the needle and then I put the needle through the hole and tied a knot so it could secure on the back side. After I tied the knot and I moved the needle and the floss through the hole again, I come to the back side where I slip it through the loop that it makes on the back side so it can secure the thread. Now after that, I took the needle and the thread and I went through the same hole that I just went through in order to get to the next hole and make it appear like a zigzag stitch. Alright, once again, you're going to repeat the same process. And also, once again, it's best to put little dots of like, or maybe like with lead pencil or some type of like um, white crayon and um, plot out the points where you want your zigzag stitches to go. And, um, and then when you do that, you pre-make the holes like with a. Um, I used a thumbtack. Um, I was hitting it with a hammer, but then I felt like, uh, but it was pointy enough I could use just my thumb pressure to um, drive the thumbtack through. The floss that I am using was way too thick. Um, I couldn't find any thin like thread because it was like in the heart of COVID and everybody was making their own mask, so I had to find like anything but uh yeah just had to make it work but this thread is too thick so every time i was looping it on the back side it kind of like made my nike check look distorted a little bit on this um, particular shoe but the first one i made was perfect um yeah For the back of the Nike check, I just punctured the, the needle and the thread through, tied it, tied a knot around the back, wrapped it around the check a lot of times. And now I'm about to place some orange blocked HTV vinyl. Okay, now it's time to find the proper placement for the check. So I'm going to take some Infinity Cement by Barge and um, put it on the check. My bar cement, I think I left it open a little bit so it kind of got dried up. So the consistency of the glue shouldn't be as thick. But um, normally it would spread easy, but I just had to make adjustments and um, heat it up with my heat gun and then place it onto the shoe. But yeah. put glue on areas 
on the uppers and the check where I knew they would both be touching each other. So all you have to do is heat up the glue. Well, you gotta let the glue dry. My glue was already dry because all the moisture in the glue was out. But you let the glue dry, you heat both areas up, and then you place both areas, you press both areas together and um, let it dry and it should give you a nice junction. not gonna lie I'm not gonna give you any cap but it did take a long time to do these shoes it was so many steps I'm so glad that it's over um, I'm happy with the way the shoes came out I was going for that, that grimy dirty shoe look age shoe look I'm sorry I didn't um, put in uh, me painting the midsoles I normally would like want to dye the midsoles um, everybody's using like this uh, candle wax dye and um, next time I'm gonna I'm gonna do that with the shoes uh, I didn't have time or I really was getting impatient I didn't want to wait but all I did was mix Angelus cream paint with the Angelus tan brown I only put one drop in the cream paint of the tan brown and I came up with that um, off-white looking color but shoes came out dope and also for the liner I mix uh, flat black with, uh, with I believe Angelus Too Soft and um, I got that uh, got the right it's a one to one ratio and I just painted the liner with that and also I just put dots around the holes I put dots over all the holes of the Nike check that I took off uh, I think it came out pretty dope um, I might still uh, try to find like some white PVC like vinyl fabric and make Nike checks out of those I think that'd be real dope with like a transparent check but yeah I'm really happy with the shoes and um, I get a lot of compliments when I wear them and um, yeah man Appreciate y'all for uh, watching this video. Make sure you guys subscribe. Peace. What's up, you guys? Thanks for making it to the end of this video. Um, I'm going to let you know or let you see something I've been working on. I'm not sure if I'm going to do a video on this. Like, if it's going to be the next video. But I've been playing flag football lately in this league is pretty fun and um, I'm from North Carolina so it was only right I make the um, UNC to Chicago one cleats yeah um, joint's gonna be dope but yeah um, appreciate you guys for um, checking out my content I've been really like trying hard to like stay consistent so um, I really appreciate you guys and um, you know catch me in the next video